Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Adrienne. I make makeup related videos. Eyeshadow palettes are my favorite. I'm a licensed esthetician and also a bridal makeup artist so occasionally I make videos about that. Today I'm coming to you with a palette from the BH Cosmetics Birthstone series. It is the Diamond Birthstone palette and this is the Birthstone palette for the month of April. The Diamond Birthstone palette is a seven pan palette and there is a mirror here that I won't blind you with. The larger shade in the palette is the diamond shade. This is a pressed glitter in the palette. All of the Birthstone palettes have a pressed glitter in them. Now I'll show you what these shades look like on my complexion. Now that you've seen what those shades look like on my complexion, I'll show you how I created the look I'm wearing today and I'll come back with some final first impressions on this diamond palette.
first impression on the diamond palette and I'm going to go ahead and open this up so you can see the shades again. I had mixed feelings about the diamond palette when I saw it. I didn't think that the matte shades in here would be deep enough for my complexion and also I was concerned about all the shimmers and this black um, shade in here almost said black matte but it's not a matte. It is a shimmer. It does have glitter in it. I'm going to bring this closer to you. Hopefully it'll come in focus so that you can see the shades a lot better. Let me move it over. The silver isn't holographic. It's just a pure silver. And I do like the pure silver. I could see myself using that in a look and may get into it sometime. Uh, when I think about this palette, I will know that I have a pure silver if I ever need it. Back to what I was saying, though, about the mattes being light. I feel like um, the look came together quickly. The quality of all the shades that I used, because I've used everything but the pressed glitter, everything went on quickly. Once I did get off camera to do my liner and lashes, the black shade that was here, I went ahead and brought it in towards the inner corners of my eyes because I felt like towards the inner corners with the actual diamond shade it looked a little more frosty than what I wanted it to since there wasn't as much depth of color with the transition and crease shade. Um, even though I think this is a great quality palette, I don't think that it would be one that I reach for much unless I wanted the silver shades in the palette. I do think they're beautiful. Usually if I'm going to have a black, I prefer it to be a black matte, but I'm not totally against having the shimmers in that black matte because there are some times where I have um, recorded a video and I've had a gorgeous blue metallic eyeshadow and then I put black in the outer V and I could actually see like the choppy transition because of the textures of the shadows. So sometimes I think that having that little bit of glitter, and I'm going to open it again, in the shadow to um, counterbalance that depending on how metallic your eyeshadow look is it's worth it sometimes especially if you are doing uh, one main shade on the eyelid it's not as noticeable if you've got a couple shades and the color gradients going out towards the outer V it's gradually deepening but if you go from one lid shade and then to a matte for your outer V shade it's kind of choppy so Maybe that's what they were thinking when they put the shimmer in that shade with all the frosty diamond shade and the next, um, I can't read because I don't have my glasses on, the next to the diamond shade. Maybe that was their thought process when they put the glitter in the palette. It does make sense when you think about it that way. I will say that when I took a look at myself, especially with my lips, the first thing I thought for some reason was Herman Monster. What is that? The Adams Family? I can't even remember what show Herman Monster is from. Um, but I thought I, that this eye look reminded me with this lipstick of Herman Monster. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That being said, looking at this look in my viewfinder and looking in my actual mirror with all the light bulbs, this look isn't bad. It's just a very dramatic theatrical look. I don't think out of this palette there's anything I could do besides have a dramatic theatrical look. And for that reason, it's a palette that I would say if you're a deeper skin tone, you probably could skip out on this one unless you wanted that black. That black is a wonderful black shade. And I do think, like I said, if you like colorful eyeshadows, deeper, darker, or mid-tone lid shades that are metallic and sometimes you don't like the jump in the transition, the palette would be worth it just for that. And also, like I said, the silvers are beautiful. But other than that, um, it's the transitions are just not there. But you can always pull in another palette. Just know that if you do choose to get it, more than likely if you wanted to wear it for even a special event, because I feel like this is straight up theater makeup that I have on. And it's great for camera, but even going to a special formal event, I wouldn't really care for this look. So it really is, that's going to be something that you'll have to decide if you 
that like those individual features that I explained with the shades in the palette. But other than that, you know, I don't have anything bad to say. I'm not really sure what, you know, they would have done for a diamond. That kind of leaves them in a rock and a hard place. And I'm sure that they had gotten so much guff before with those palettes that they did the year before, the Zodiac palettes for every month because they had so many neutral browns and everything looked like the same thing every month. It's like they had to try something different and the different that they tried doesn't necessarily work for everybody once you step out of the box and that's kind of how I feel about this palette is they stepped out on a limb to try to give us something different and they did do that and they did it with excellent quality so I'm not going to say that I hate this palette because it's excellent quality it just wouldn't be my favorite out of all my palettes. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you soon.